I have reviewed quite a few EDC or everyday carry flashlights on my channel, and I find them to be especially handy, but only if I'm actually carrying them. Sometimes I don't want to carry a flashlight in my pocket, and that is when a keychain flashlight comes in handy. Something like this one, the Lumatop Frog. So if you're interested in hearing more about this tiny but capable light, keep watching. Before we begin, I'd just like to thank the company Flashlight Brand for sending me the Lumatop Frog so that I could share it with you. Okay, as always, we'll go down to my tabletop, I'll go over the key features for this tiny light, I'll go over its physical and performance specifications, I'll go over its modes of operation, then of course, we'll do some testing. So before we go over the key features as well as the physical and performance specifications for this little Lumatop Frog, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So one of the things right off the top before I bring the box in is this little carabiner attachment. So this did not come attached to the light, but it did come as an accessory. And I did attach it to the light, and I'll be leaving it on because, well, how else are you going to attach this to your keychain, really? Okay, let me put that aside for a second. So this is the box that everything came in, and of course you have the manual with all the instructions and warranty information, very helpful and actually quite easy to read as well. Two other accessories in the box. First off, and this one is different from any other light that I have used, and this is your actual charging port. So it's a charging device that actually gets attached to the flashlight, and I'll demonstrate that in a moment how that works. And by the way, it is USB type C uh, charging port and a little cable, and the little cable is different. It's actually a USB Type-C charging cable, but it's very minimalist. There's not a lot to it, and it's magnetized to keep it closed like this, so it's just kind of keeps it out of the way and is very compact and easy to take with you. So let me put that aside. So there is one more thing that the company Flashlight Brand did send me, and that is an option with this light. You don't get it unless you purchase it separately, and that's an extended tube that comes with a, another battery. So this is a slightly larger battery. This is a good time to take the flashlight apart and show you the two different batteries. So there's actually the battery that comes with the light is this tiny little one, which is a 10180. So 10,180, I'm not quite sure how the common pronunciation would be, but a 10180. You can see it's a tiny little battery, but still has a lot of power for its size. And then there's the upgraded or upsized battery, and this one is known as the 10440. So it depends on how small you want your light to be. This one provides you a little bit more lumens, as I'll discuss in a moment, and longer run times, but of course it more than doubles the size of the light. So that did come as an accessory as I mentioned. So let me put that aside. It will be coming back into the picture as we go along. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go over the key features of the light as well as the physical and performance specifications. All right, quickly we'll go over the key features for the Lumatop Frog and there's really only two that I want to focus in on. First off is the LED. It is a luminous SST20 at 4000K or 4000 Kelvin. It is not quite as bright white as the optional LED that this light is available in. This one provides you a little bit more to the yellow side of white uh, as opposed to the other one, but that's okay. It works just fine for all the needs I have. The other thing I want to mention is that with that tiny battery I showed you a moment ago, this has a turbo of 570 lumens. That is impressive for such a small light. Now, you, if you change out and put the tube on with the larger of the batteries, you increase your turbo to 750 luminums. That's competitive with lights of much larger stature. However, your run times aren't going to be as long because, of course, there are still small batteries. All right, let's go into the physical specifications for this light. To begin, I'm going to give you the specifications for the light in this uh, configuration and I'll give you the specifications in the video description for this light with the extended tube attached. So the diameter 0.6 of an inch or 15.6 millimeters. The length overall 1.8 inches or 45 millimeters. The weight 0.7 ounces or 19 grams and that is with this little carabiner on because as I mentioned in the opening I can't see carrying it any other way so I thought I would include the weight with that on it. 
as far as performance specifications go for the Lumitop Frog. I will talk about what they are for this configuration, that is with the smaller battery. I'll give you the performance specifications for the light with the larger battery attached in the video description below for your reference. So to begin, I have to mention that this light comes with the smooth ramping interface. In other words, you hold your finger on the button and the light will go from its lowest moonlight setting up to high and then arrive when it arrives there, it'll flash to let you know. And of course, the same thing returning back down to low. The information with this light did not provide the moonlight and high lumen settings, but from the information, I was able to determine that the high is 50% of the turbo setting. So from that, I can tell you that the high is 285 lumens, but I can't tell you what moonlight is. As far as runtime goes, I can tell you that the, on the moonlight setting, this will run for nine hours, which is quite impressive, although it's, you know, it's very little light, of course. As far as beam cast or throw goes on the turbo, this light will cast out 443 feet or 135 meters with a 4,455 candela. So very impressive. Now, the last thing I'll mention is that it does have an, a waterproof rating of IPX8, which is impressive again for such a small light. The Lumitop Frog comes with two distinct operating system. The default system being smooth ramping, which is to say if I press my finger down on the switch, it will rise continuously until it reaches the high level where it will flash to let you know it's arrived. And if I hold it down again, it will go all the way back to moonlight setting, flash again to let me know it has arrived there. The alternate setting is the traditional more stepped setting where, where by holding your finger on the button, it will rise through specific sets of lumens and you can change that over if you wish by following the instructions in the user manual for doing so i'm leaving it in the smooth ramping because i prefer to use it that way the light also does have a memory mode which is to say that when you turn the light off and bring it back on again it'll come back to whatever the last lumen setting you used so let me show how this works i'll press the light on you can see right now that it is in the moonlight setting if i hold the button down it'll rise to high I flash to let it know it has arrived. Again, if I hold it button down, it'll go right back down to low or moonlight, and that's where it'll stop. Now, I want to show you how turbo works. So we're on, uh, either with the light turned on or off, if I double tap, you get your turbo mode. I'll do that with the light on, double tap, and you can see it went to turbo. If I double tap again, it goes into strobe. So you have to be in turbo and double tap before you can access the strobe. Now, the last thing I want to mention for as far as modes of operation go is that the light does have an electronic lockout. So to access that, I'd very quickly press the, the switch four times, one, two, three, four. And the light flashes three times or four times to let me know that it is locked out. To disengage the lockout, again, press four times, one, two, three, four. And you can see it again flashed four times and allows me to use the light again. So the last thing I want to share with you is how you charge the battery for the Lumitop Frog. So you start by taking it apart in two sections, set that aside, bring in the little charging port. It has threads that will go on the front or on the top. Screw that down. Then use your USB Type-C cable and attach it to a power source. And the light, there will be a little red light in this white top area that will come on while it is charging, turning to blue when it is fully charged. Having gone over the physical and performance specifications for the Lumen Top Frog, there's only one thing left to do. Let's do some testing. Doing some nighttime testing with the Lumitop Frog. So for the first portion of this demonstration, I'm working in the basement of my home in my gear room. So I'll turn the flashlight on. And this is at the moonlight setting, its lowest setting. Now I can see to the back of the room and I can probably navigate through the room, but I don't even think that's gonna show up on camera. So now let me take it up to high. And it flashes when it reaches the highest level. And yes, you can see everything in the room with this tiny little light. Nice, bright light. All right, let's move outdoors. 
Right, for the first part of this outdoor demonstration, I'm at beside my house. I'm about 10 feet away from the wall of my house. I'm going to do a beam shot just to give an idea what the pattern looks like. So this is on the moonlight. We'll move it up to high. And you can see it has a nice central hot spot. There's not a lot of flood. This is not a long casting light for such a small light though, but it is a very even light, which is what I like about it. Now I'll reposition the camera into my backyard. So I'm using the light on high and we're looking at about 30 feet away to where those trees and my bench at the back of the yard is. So, you know, not bad for such a tiny little light. Certainly all the light you need for navigating around your driveway, moving to and from your house to the car. Uh, yeah, nice, bright, small little keychain light. All right, let's close this video out with a few pros and cons for the Luma Top Frog. So what do I really like about this light? Its size, look how small that is. It is small and lightweight and easy to carry on your keychain. In fact, I have been using it on my keychain for the last few weeks. I only took it off to make this video. And when I'm finished, it's going back on my keychain and that's where it will stay. Now, I prefer to carry something a little larger as my EDC, Everyday Carry Light, something with more brightness and something with longer run times. But but I don't always have that with me. Maybe I forgot, or sometimes I just choose not to because I don't foresee the need for it. That's when something like this that you always have with you will come in handy, and it already has. There has been an opportunity where I dropped something down between the seats of my vehicle, and I was able to use this light to find it very quickly because it ha I had it with me. All right, are there anything else? Yes, the brightness. Look how bright this light, at 570 lumens on turbo, that is not insignificant. In fact, it's very impressive for such a small light. Now, mind you, it's not gonna last very long, but then again, we usually don't use turbo for more than a few moments at a time. Are there any cons? Well, there's one relative con, and it's not truly a con so much as something you need to be aware of. And I've discovered this when I was doing watching some of the other reviews on this light, and that is something known as parasitic drain. Now, the light does have, and it's not probably not gonna show up, Inside the on-off switch, there is a tiny red LED light that stays on all the time as long as there's charge in the battery. And that's what it's there for, to let you know that the light is ready to operate. Now, it's not a very bright light. In fact, I had hoped that it might be bright enough that if I drop my keys, I could use that light to find them, but it is not that bright. Probably that's a good thing, so it's not obtrusive at all. Uh, the thing is that over time, that little tiny light can drain on your battery so that when you go to use the light you don't have any charge left. Now, the literature says that it's not an issue in the short term, but however, if you want to store this light for any length of time, that you should take the battery out, or what I would recommend is just turn the, the casing so that it breaks the contact and you won't have an issue. Okay, so those are the pros and cons for this tiny little light. What I will be doing is putting all the information that I provided you with additional information, especially with the extended battery tube that came with this light, I'll put all of that in the video description below. Again, I want to thank Flashlight Brand for sending this light to me, and I'll put their contact information in the video description below. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. Get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.